The unique thing about OpenTunes is that it allows you to scan in your paper drawings and convert them into digital ones. So I've never really had the chance to, oops, never had the chance to try this because I never had a proper scanner. You can also do it with a camera. And the advantage with this is that drawing on paper is always going to be better or more unique, more tactile than drawing digitally, at least for the moment. Nice, so this looks like a pedal, the foot pedal. They also give you a nice scanning mat. This is the Zur. This comes out. See the lens right there, and uh, you can take pictures. Traditional animation style today. We get ourselves a light pad, paper clip on the top. This is by Gaumon. This is their GA3, and. Uh, you can turn it on, make some animation cleanup art, and see if we can scan it in. I'm pretty excited. This is my first time ever trying to animate on paper. And from what I read, OpenTunes' scanning abilities, they go much deeper than I thought they did. So let's get working. Thanks to Zer for scanning. Scanning. Thanks to Zer for sponsoring this video. Be sure to leave me a like and let's get started. Okay. Let's see if OpenTunes can recognize it right off the bat. Scan. Internal, yeah. No? What about as a camera? Yeah, it actually recognizes that as a camera right off the bat. That's pretty cool. Captured that, and now we got our drawing scanned in. If I want, I can just go ahead right over that. This is like level one scanner mode. You know, we just took a, we just used it as a camera basically. Took a picture of our sketch and finished up the line art. And it was pretty quick on both ends. Now, alternatively, we could scan these drawings in using the Xur software. So let's open it up. And we're gonna go to hit scan. We have a few options over here and we're going to hit manual selection. So I'm gonna make sure that the selection is big enough for both of my frames something square shape, hit manual selection, drag the box around where we want it to capture. Now I'm going to hit the scan button twice. Uh, we're gonna flip this and then we're gonna scan this drawing as well. Now let's go back. We're done. Unless we wanna edit them using the Zer tools, we can adjust the color, set it to black and white if we wanna just isolate the lines. We can also set it to grayscale and do a, a host of other image editing tasks. I'm gonna leave them as default and then exit the program. Next, we're gonna open up documents, Zer doc, sources, and go to the latest folder, which will, should say today's date on it. Double click, and here are our scanned in drawings. Highlight two of these, click and drag, right onto the timeline. So we have our second frame first, but we don't really want that. I'm gonna click and drag this over and click. So you can scan the drawings first and then import them into OpenTunes or whatever your preferred animation program is after for cleanup. Now we're gonna see how we can convert our cleanup drawings into digital tunes raster lines. Let's check it out. Actually don't have a thin enough marker to do this, so let's go ahead and try and scan this in with OpenTunes and I'll show you how that workflow goes. I got a new OpenTunes file open. I'm gonna go to scan cleanup, moment of truth, camera capture. I gotta delete this OBS thing in order for this to work. Yeah, I'm gonna remove it. Or it won't okay, here we go. Now it's showing up. Uh, excellent. So set this back to default so I can show you what it's like. Let's get this in a nice position here. One that looks even, hit sub camera, 
I'm going to select just around my drawing, just around the part that I want to scan in. By now it says warning, and if I try to hit capture, it'll say the captured image size does not match the with the existing level. I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm going to create, I'm going to switch over to level B. I think because level A was already created, so we're going to go to B, so we can scan in something new. That's if you scanned before. Otherwise, using the sub camera should be fine. And let's hit capture. Hit that twice. Now if I hit capture and then I move this again, I'm going to get more frames. So this works just like uh, stop motion animation. So if you have more frames, go ahead and, uh, and, and flip your page. And then scan in all of your frames. And let, what they will look like is this on the timeline. That looks pretty cool. So they, you get all your frames right here. So now we got, <laughs> looks like he's DJing or something like that. Yeah, right? So yeah, it's, it works the same way as a stop motion animation. Okay, at this point, we're gonna wanna go to the cleanup section. We'll just clean up the first drawing. We're gonna go to line processing, hit color. Oops, it crashed. The likely reason OpenTunes crashed is because we need to set our file type to TGA. Let's go to our frame D, set the file type to TGA. And then now we can capture. That was an important detail that I missed. We're gonna go to line processing, color. Maybe that file is now corrupted. So let's try it on a file that I already cleaned something in. Um, so this is my first sort of test of a cleanup. So let's go ahead and um, try to capture our image in this one and see if it works. Camera capture on many systems. Okay, let's turn off scan preview. Go to cleanup. Use current level settings. And I'm going to do preview cleanup. Nice. Okay, this is how it should be acting. Now let's mess with these. There we go. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure why it wasn't um, reacting to our changes earlier. But in this file, it's working, so we'll go with this. And this already looks really, really cool. I'm gonna turn on opacity check just to make sure I'm just getting these lines. Yeah, we're getting a couple shadows here. I don't want that. So I'm gonna make sure I can get rid of those the best I can. It's now stop responding. Let's save and open it again. I can also set anti-aliasing to none to get a slightly different result. I think this one's a bit more bold, so I like this. Hit that opacity check. That's nice, so we have no Paper shadows, just that line we gotta get rid of on the bottom, which is easily erasable. Save. All right, I like that. So I'm gonna hit save scan settings. Name this mechanical pencil. Hit save. I'm gonna save my file, and then I'm gonna go to scan and clean up. Turn off preview. Well, I'm gonna keep the preview one. Hit camera test, okay. Now I'm gonna go to clean up. So I'm going to select this first, and then I'm going to go to cleanup. Make sure I have my preview on so I can just see what's going on. Go to cleanup. Hit view. It's going to show me what it's cleaning up, which is nice. I agree with that. I'm going to hit cleanup. All right. Now, our scan drawing is a Toons raster level. I'm going to go to the drawing page. So now we can fully edit this. So I can take the eraser. I can erase some strokes that uh, I don't like. I can even add to it, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in some all right, so no need to fear that uh, your scanned in drawing was the final. You can always clean up and add cool effects afterwards. So let's go ahead and add some color to this. I made another page because uh, this first page has like three. 1,000 colors, 255 colors. Oh, okay, it's RGB, I see. But I don't need these. I guess I, you wanna note that the first uh, swatches that are gonna appear, these are going to be the swatches that you set in um, in the cleanup menu. So this red right here, this is the red that we set in the cleanup menu and we can readily adjust it. I'm gonna fill in this color by depth. I'm gonna turn this into some shadows. So let's go ahead and go to effects. All right, now we're in effects, I'm gonna hit save. Well, OpenTunes is not cooperating, but I think you guys get the point. We might have to hang it up. 
uh, for now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This was a blast. I had a great time uh, trying some traditional methods and using this scanner. Thanks to Zer for sponsoring this video. I definitely want to do something like this again with some paper animation techniques. It really gives your 2D animation a natural feel. These scanned in lines are pretty expressive. Special thanks to my patrons for supporting my work and my drawing students for your generous donations. As we learn and explore the art of 2D animation, we come across very simple methods we can use to improve our work overall. Here are three of them. Check out this video.